What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about a class change token and how this has been discussed within the Elder Scrolls Online community for several years now. I went back and looked in the forums and, and kind of just typed in, you know, class change token to see how many times it would pop up in, in different forums over the years or different conversations. And if you even look on the Elder Scrolls forums or even on Reddit, this has been discussed a lot. There's a lot of people in the community that want a class change token. There's some people that don't agree with a class change token. I'm not really sure where I stand on this yet, but I wanted to make this video just so you guys can kind of tell me your opinions as well. But before I get into all the details, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like and check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. My affiliate link and a 5% discount code is linked down in the description as well. Um, the whole kind of concept of a class change token has been around like i said for a while we have different types of tokens that you can purchase in game where you can change certain things of course but a lot of people have always wanted uh, a class change token that way you know you can go in and, and change the class of a particular character you have and i think one reason this has always been a, a topic of conversation over the last several years is because first of all we've had different types of tokens added in in, in the crown store but uh, I think the main thing is a lot of people want this because the achievements are not account-wide in-game. So any achievements you get on one character, you're going to have to get on other characters when you create them. So let's just say, for example, you're running around with a Sork uh, as your main character, and you decide, you know what, I want to make this class a Necromancer, or I want to make this class a DK, or I want to make this class a Nightblade. You don't have an option to do that. So what you have to do is go in, of course, and make a new character. A lot of people, like I said, don't like that because they feel like all those achievements they got on that one character is, is kind of pointless now because they're going to have to get all the achievements once again on the new character. Uh, another thing that a lot of people, I think, kind of talk about when they when, when this is kind of brought up is they don't have time to make multiple characters. You know, I always hear people say, well, I don't have time to make a second character or a third or fourth or 18 or whatever the case may be. Um, and I do understand that. I, know, I understand that some people may have one character and that is all really they have the time to play on. Maybe they only get to play a couple hours a day, a couple hours a week, whatever the case may be. And they really do not want to have to make a new character and unlock, once again, all the achievements and do everything that they've done on their main character because that's going to take a lot of time. And if they don't have a lot of time to play, a class change token would be a big help to someone like that. Everything is always changing in game when it comes to the metal, when it comes to the best classes, the best races, whatever the case may be. So I think that a class change token would be beneficial to some players, while maybe not as beneficial to others. Because I think the argument against this, once again, is going to be you can just make a new character. If you're going to spend crowns on a class change token, why not just make a new character, get it to level 50, and spend those crowns on purchasing the sky shards and the skill lines from the crown store. There's always going to be, I guess, an argument, you know, one side or the other when it comes to this class change token idea. But I do understand both sides, I guess. I understand that the community, the, the fans that want it, once again, may not have time to, you know, be able to play and make a lot of characters. They also may not want to lose their achievements on, you know, a, a particular character. But at the same time, you could just make a new character, like I said, and use those crowns that you're going to use to buy a class change token to buy things like sky shards and skill lines. So I'm kind of curious, what do you guys think? Like I said, I, I've seen this topic brought up for years now. Like I said, I, I look back in some old Reddit forums and some old ESO forums, and this has been talked about a lot. So would you like to see a class change token brought to the Elder Scrolls Online? I think in the coming years, we'll probably see one in the Crown Store or something or some variation of it, I guess. But anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you liked it, hit the like, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.